Hello, hello, I'm a little bit early. Hello and welcome to my page. Oh, yeah, shoot, I could have hit that little lightning bolt to brighten me up. But there, I did it. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. Hi friends, I am uh, about a minute early. We are, um, I am coming to you live in an event um, today and I'll be going live here on my page and then um, Kimmery or one of the girls will be sharing me over into the Fab Five, um, what is it, the Emporium, Fab, Fab Five uh, Event Emporium, Fab Five Event Emporium. It is a crafting group um, where a lot of us have been going live all day um, and so if you want to watch like continuous crafting for free, you can go over to the Fab Five Empor Event Emporium, and the link is at the top in my description. So um, I know that the Crafty Edge, um, is it Beth? <sighs> I think her name is Beth. I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure it was Beth. She is finishing up. Um, yay! Hi, Lynn. You caught me. Hey, Karen. Hey, Jackie. Yes, Jackie, you caught me in my group earlier today. So um, thank you for joining me here. Hey, Claudia, you too. Thank you for joining me here too. Hey, Kimberly, you ready to roll? Um, she was sharing me over into the, there's Deb. Hey, Deb's new again. Hi, you guys. Thank you girls for having me in your, um, in your event today. I certainly appreciate it. Um, for all of you followers, again, the link is at the top in the description for this. Um, I'm hoping Beth was finished. I know she was kind of pushing it to get done and she had a ton of people following her. So, uh, she is finished. Okay, great, great. I had to leave just a snap early. Um, so I didn't get to see the very end, but it was looking really cool. So, okay, let's get going. So I don't run out of time. However, I'm last, so I'm not sure if it matters or not. I've never been last before, but I've been babysitting today for my grandbaby and she just went home. Oh, hi, Carolyn. Thank you. <laughs> wow. She followed me and she's just watching me for the first time. That's a lot of faith in me um, there, Carolyn. <laughs> but thank you very much and welcome to my page. So um, I love, obviously I love vintage. My name is Tammy and Tammy loves vintage, right? So um, in staying true with my page, um, okay, I'll take my time. Thank you. So well, let's get started here. In staying true to my page, um, I always like to use antique and vintage treasures. Hey, Susan. How's the weather in South Carolina? Actually, it was really beautiful here today. It was in the 60s. I'm in Ohio. Hey, Ruth. Hi. So um, what I'm going to do is use some old buttons. I just threw some down here. You guys let me know if you can't um, see what I'm doing. It's more important that you see that than me. Um, but I'm going to just start adding some buttons to this heart. Now, I've done a great big heart here on the page. Um, hi, Teresa. Uh, hey, Daryl. Hi. Hey, Susie. Thanks, girls. All you girls in the group are joining me. You know I appreciate your um, <laughs> I appreciate your support. I don't know why I get so nervous at these things, but I always do, always have. Obviously, I'm thinking I always will, so I guess it's just the name of the game to be nervous. I was watching um, Kim at um, Creations by Kim, and she was just adorable. And she was, oh, I don't think I want that dark one. It doesn't really match in. Um, she was all nervous and so happy to have so many people watching her. And it was just adorable. She's a new page. Um, she's been a follower of mine for a long, long time. So I was kind of proud to see her go into town with this and um, actually taking something that she's loved for a long time and running with it. She said her girlfriends talked her into doing it, and I think that's fantastic. So I was happy to get to watch her, and she's beautiful to boot. So you know how you, like I know her name from being on the page and stuff, but to see him in person is, well, not in person, but to see her online instead of that tiny little bubble picture you know what I mean it's a big it's different so it was very cool to see her and I was very proud of her so anyway um yeah anyway so here we go I made a so yeah this isn't my this isn't like my project this is just a little part of it um it's going to be a little bit time consuming actually I have another part that's going to be time consuming not a lot but well anyway See, I'm like him. I'm nervous, and I've done this like hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> I still get nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. It's not like the world's going to, you know, fall apart or anything if I mess up, but I don't know. So many great crafts and stuff today, and um, 
Yeah, I don't know. And Mara um, at Retail Therapy by Mara, she was on, and she's she does this. Um, I, you guys probably, hopefully, you watched her, but that um, what is that product that she's uh, the velvet stuff? Did you guys see that? That was so cool. I kind of want to try that out. Um, I I don't do a lot with color though, and she did red, but that would be great for Christmas. Um, the red velvet. So I saw somebody ask me about my heart. It's just a little wooden heart, you guys. It's just a little, you know, you can buy them in a bundle in a pack uh, at Hobby Lobby. That's all this is. I should have, I should have told you that sooner. See, I'm not very good at this. Hey, Randy Reed. The, yes, absolutely. All of it, vent, buttons are vintage. And I love when the strings are in there too. I'll show you up close. See how the strings just add a little, well, not this string, <laughs> this is glue, but the strings at, oh, flock, yes, maybe that was it. I thought it was velvet. I think she called it velvet, but maybe it was flock. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to try that. That one matches the one beside of it. Here's one. So I'm just grabbing a, um, a bunch of vintage buttons here, and then I'm going to run the dryer on it to get rid of all those glue strings. You guys know that trick? Um, it kind of melts them away and they just disappear. So that's a cool thing. And then let's stick my buttons back. I got this old jar and the this rubber thing was really ugly. So I jazzed it up a little bit. <laughs> it's still not great, but um, yeah, it's just handy. I have a great big container of buttons. Oh, shoot. And I sell buttons to you guys all the time, which I'm out of them right now. I have had a ton of them, but you guys ordered them up like mad on the website. So anyway, um, I keep these just because it's easier and handier. So let's get rid of this glitter because glitter, you know how glitter is, right? Just give me a second here, suck that up. Okay, so the next thing I need to do that's going to be a little bit time consuming, and then the rest of it should fly. Um, it was velvet powder. Okay, Kimberly, that's what I thought it was velvet. So this heart came from Hobby Lobby, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Hobby Lobby, I, I say that because it's it was in my craft box from last year. I didn't do anything with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this red ribbon because it's not old and it's not beautiful. I could save it, but it's not my it's not my style. So I'm going to pitch it. Don't cringe, don't cringe. I got great red ribbon, so it's okay. It's all good. Um, have you seen where they use wine corks to pull to and put cool buttons? on the top. Yes. Yes, Linda. Hey, Linda. Hi. Yes. Very, very cool. Um, didn't know the little trick. About, oh, yes, Karen. Any project. Use your, use your heat gun. Um, what, I'm just looking to see what I've missed. Oh, thank you, Penny. They're in my um, Amazon store. They're linked in the link tree at the top of the page. Uh, probably under clothing, under the clothing tab. Um, there's creating it. But there's Kim. I was just talking about you, girl. Uh, then the heart's made of wood, Hobby Lobby. Um, okay, red around the edges. Yes, I, yes. So earlier last month, I did a vintage heart for my fireplace mantle. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to do like one to sit beside of it because I have a pretty wide mantle. And so I'm going to do one kind of based off of this idea. Okay, so it can kind of sit. I can't see what you can see. Um, it's kind of going to sit, like this one's going to sit this way, and I'm going to make this one set the opposite way. So I kind of want them to be sisters. <laughs> sisters. <laughs> Sister hearts. <laughs> so I'm going to use this old, I don't know the year. There was no year on any of these, but it's a very old handwritten ledger. And boy, they're writing back in the day. I know it's backwards, but you can tell it's just beautiful. Um, and I and I love it. So I'm going to rip all of the edges, which I know I hate to do, but I don't like a straight edge. So um, I, I got to do it. I got to do it. And I just got to do it. So I'll lose some of the writing and stuff, but that's okay because I can't. I don't. I can't do a straight edge. Um, it's too. I don't know what the word is, but it's just. I just don't like them myself. Okay, and then in this, in this other one, I was excited because I kept some of the X's, like X's and O's for Valentine's, but I'm not, I'm not going to be excited about that because I'm going to lose most of this, I would say, when I get it on here. And I'm just going to use Mod Podge, oops, 
and hope that my ink doesn't smear, smear too much. Um, the leather, uh, you know, you go antique shopping, um, vintage markets, um, sometimes a thrift store or a, um, a Goodwill, um, yard sales. Um, you can find things on Etsy. They're a little, a little bit pricier, but you can find things on Etsy. I have paper packs on my website actually um, that have ledger pages and German pages and just an assortment of all kinds of crafting things. Uh, my friend Michelle at the Vintage Daisy was just listing some um, papers that she was going to be selling. So you can find them. Um, if that was all way too fast, just private message me and I'll, I'll hook you up and give you all the everything I know. Okay. Um, but yeah, the vintage papers are great. I had a chance, I was at a show and I had a chance to buy a 1700s gorgeous, gorgeous book. There were two. Um, he wanted $200 for it. And I thought, okay, if I break it down and sell the pages or copy the pages and let people, you know, print them because it's so old, I could do that. But I was having a hard time giving him that much money, even though I know what a unique uh, piece it was um, of history. I just, I thought about it hard. You can ask my friend Julie. <laughs> I thought about it really, really hard. Um, oh, thank you, Kim. Um, yes, ma'am. Kim's been around for a long time. And I'm happy to have her, and I'm happy to see her doing so well. Um, anyway... Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> anyway, I didn't buy the paper um, because I just thought it was too expensive. It was, but it was amazing. And then, and then he had a book. It was um, where he, someone had handwritten music. And I can't play music, so I couldn't read, you know, what the song would be like. But it was a small, it was about this big about that big and it was all leather and it was handwritten paper it was freaking amazing and um it was 125 but there was only like maybe 18 pages boy I thought hard about getting it because you don't find stuff like that and um he's <laughs> we call him the crazy hair guy he's at the um He's at the antique shows that we go to here locally from time to time. Well, we see him maybe four times a year. And he always has the best stuff, but he's always super expensive. He goes up, uh, oh gosh, I forget where he said he goes shopping, but he finds things and it's amazing stuff. But it's always so expensive. And one time we saw it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have to do the comments later because I'm paying attention to what I'm doing and I'm rambling. <laughs> To know me is to know, though. I promise I'll sit down and go through all of your comments um, and uh, answer everything, okay? I promise. I promise. Um, but anyway, one time he got his hair cut. <laughs> he didn't even recognize him. We recognized his booth, though. We knew it was him right away, but we didn't recognize him sitting there. We're like, oh, my gosh, he's actually, you know, not that bad-looking fella. But, <laughs> but he, he typically has, like, big... <laughs> big wiry hair and uh he's kind of funny he's kind of a funny guy but uh boy he's got great taste and has a great source for beautiful treasures I can tell you that I have some of his treasures but they're usually you know you go shopping and it's like I'm shopping for you guys but I'm also shopping for me and oh, I got a wrinkle and I'm gonna rip it to get it up. So we're gonna go with it. Oh, I don't usually get wrinkles. Oh, darn it, but I got one today. Anyway, um, yeah, so I <laughs> I picked up some of his stuff along the way. I decide which side looks better. This one looks really good. So let's go up here. I'm gonna overlap because, well, how about I just do that? Oh, that's not big enough. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and then, uh, let's see here. I'm going to keep going. Quit talking so much. Pay attention. This is the time consuming. I, you know, I, I like to do these things ahead of time so you guys don't have to, like, come on. But at the same time, I have people sometimes, they don't know some of the stuff. So I like to 
I like to just do it all. And when I have it all done before I go live, um, you know, they're like, well, <laughs> where did you get that? What do you, how'd you do that? Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, the only thing I did ahead of time was the buttons. Um, I did two other heart buttons, like the one I did with you when I first started. So that's the only thing I did without you. Okay, so let's get another little piece. I just need a tiny piece. You'll probably get one from the trash here. I'll take it from here. Um, I have a little patch right there that didn't get covered, so we'll patch that in. Okay, then I need to release this as I go. So if you noticed before, I did it, but I didn't explain it. Um, well, I don't really have anything. Oh yeah, over here I do. Whenever it's hanging over, if you notice that when you're Mod Podging, um, that it, it kind of wants to lift or bubble up, um, this is kind of a relief. It kind of relieves it a little bit that, oh, whoops, <laughs> that you can, um, um, kind of prevent that lifting a little bit. So it's a wallpaper trick. <laughs> no, Janet, the, the, can the camera's flipped. I, this is my right hand. I know that's so strange. I know I've seen people do that before on here. And I do this, oops, I don't wanna waste any of this. Let's go, let's go up here. Oh man, I'm so close. Let's just get it right. I'm gonna get it right. And I think rather than wasting any of it, let's do that. Okay, let me get this down so it can be drying. Um, you also, when you're using these old papers, you kind of want to test it a little bit and make sure that the ink isn't going to smear and break down with your Mod Podge. That's kind of a bad thing uh, when that happens. I guess I don't have anything to read, um, so I didn't need to flip the camera for you guys to read, really. Um, and it really is so backwards when you flip the camera, so... Um, I didn't, I'm, I didn't flip it. It's backwards for us. It's perfect for you guys. But so if I go to hold something up and the camera's right here, actually I have to hold it up over here. It like changes where you go. It's so weird. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not very good at flipping the camera. I don't like to do that. I just do it if I have to. So, okay. So I have some of that left. But yeah, I need to work on copying some of this stuff and getting it as a printable. I don't know how to do printables, um, but I have a lot that I could I could definitely printable. <laughs> um, I bought a beautiful scrapbook with all sorts of ephemeral, like pictures and things um, and advertising and stuff. And I have one girl, um, Elizabeth, she's waiting on me to do something with the pictures. Um, I haven't forgotten you, Elizabeth, if you're here. Uh, I haven't forgot you. And she goes by Liz. It's still laying over here. Just haven't done it yet. Okay. All right. So I'm just I'm just doing that so as it dries, it doesn't lift. Like here, I got another wrinkle. I didn't get very many, but I did get a couple. Probably because I'm rushing. Probably because I'm rushing. I know I don't need to rush, but I kind of do. Okay, kind of deal. And I know I'm last, so it doesn't matter, but kind of does. <laughs> oh, you did, Carolyn? Well, see, I don't have anything like that. So it really wouldn't, um, other than it just being really cool and me being able to print the pages to craft with, um, it would be a really hard book to tear apart to use the pages in projects like this. I'm using the actual pages. Um, and I'm finding, honestly, like we've done a lot of projects where we have photocopied this sort of thing and it does great. So if you guys do spend and get actual, you know, pages, or if you buy one of my kits or whoever's kits, um, copy your pages. They really do nice. Um, oh, I, I have aprons. Um, actually my friend Tara with Sweetwater Trading sent me a box and I peeked in it. I had ordered I had ordered some tins to do over for Christmas. And um, what else did I order? Some moss and, I don't know. Oh, a couple bunnies. And anyway, she said, I put a couple treasures in there for you. So when I opened it, 
there was a t I thought a t-shirt and a couple of bags with her trademark on it and so I was so excited so I texted her and I said I didn't open everything yet because I want to open it on a live but um, I love the t-shirt whatever she's like it's not a t-shirt <laughs> so then I had a peek again and it was it's an apron <laughs> so and then totally dazzled I'm not I ordered totally dazzled and uh, I've not done a whole lot with it but I did dazzle up my you can see my apron back there. I da well, you can't really tell, but I dazzled up an apron um, to do some totally dazzled stuff. Yeah, she's great. So, okay, now I'm about to make a mess here. And I know this stinks for you guys to listen to this, but there is no other way to get a nice, crispy edge. Let me get a pressure. This one, I could shoot it faster than this. Um, and these are on my store too. They're amazing. Um, and you get the little strips too. Um, but this is the best little sander and it just Velcros right on there instead of those sanding sponges that we use. I paint houses. So, um, yes, I have a bunch of it, but I, and I've messed with it a little bit, but I mean, I guess I haven't done a live, uh, like a totally, you know, sharing their stuff. I've just added some of it. I usually use real vintage stuff. But um, I really like their crowns and um, I like their uh, appliques. That's what I did with my apron. But it was just out of the blue. I got a, an email and it said, thank you for your order from Totally Dazzled. And I thought, I haven't ordered anything from them for a while. Um, I'll tell you what else I bought was that rhinestone kit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if I don't go live for any other reason than just to share that, it's amazing. Um, Anywho, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm like, I didn't order anything. And then in the mail, I got an apron. So that was, that was so nice. And Natalie, she's adorable. The owner, um, I watch her and I watch the other girls do her show. I just haven't done it myself. I've never, I, I, I'm sure you have to apply or whatever. I've never, never done that. Okay, guys, I'm halfway home. I feel like I'm being really noisy and slow. This ledger paper is a little extra thicker than your regular like rice paper. Rice paper is thick, but it's different. This is kind of thick like um, watercolor paper almost. It's really thick. I'm sorry about this. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oops, let's see, I get in a hurry and I messed up a little bit right there. dry either. I have to run the sweeper when I'm done. <laughs> oh, hey Kay, hello. You like to watch me create? Well, <laughs> right now I'm just sanding and making a mess. All right, there we go. So there and there. All right. Okay. So let's see how we did. Yeah, got a little bit of wrinkling, but I really don't mind that because it's consistent. And yep, I did get a little, um, one little chunk out, it looks like. So let's just fix that up right this second here. Um, let me just patch that in with a little snippet of this. Put some on top to have the shine consistent. Um, let me dry it down. Just take a minute. Won't even take a minute. Uh, and then I'll sand that off and then we're done. And then we're ready to make it pretty. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Gina. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I found this shirt at Maurice's. Yeah. Um, hi, Esther. Hey, girl. Okay. So it's kind of warm. Yep. Popped right off. Okay. All done with that. So, um, now when we get close to six o'clock, I'm gonna give away one of my t-shirts. So I should turn the camera around just for the, oops, I don't wanna lose that, just for this. But I'm gonna give away a t-shirt. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Um, it says, Tammy Those Vintage, which is, um, see, it. see, I flipped it and it's backwards. So, so um, 
Tammy loves vintage and so do I. So if you love vintage, this will be a perfect shirt for you. It says um, established 2013 and then it says antiques and creative treasures. And this was actually things on my mantle. I sent to my friend Beth who is an artist and she drew this from what was on my mantle. And um, this was like a Chuck Couture sign and she changed the wording and I absolutely love it. And I hope you do too, but one of you will win this um, Tammy Loves Vintage and So Do I shirt. So if you're here at the end, because I want you to message me at the end, I will, um, I'm going to flip you back and then I got to find comments again. I will flip you back and um, uh, I want you to be here to give it away and I want you to tell me your size or you can at least say, I'm here, I'll text you my size, okay? You love your shirt, Pamela? The only thing is the shirt's gotta be washed in cold water because it's that, I didn't know this when I ordered them, but it's that um, silk screen or whatever and so it'll melt in your dryer and stick to itself. So um, I kinda like to be careful <laughs> and don't wash it very often. But they're on my website too if you guys need a shirt at TammyLovesVintage.com. I have gray and black and that rust color, I think that's all. So, okay, you guys, all right, let's get going here and decorate this up. Um, all the hard part and the not so much fun part is done. So now what I wanna do, I was thinking, how can I make this like a sister to this one so that I could have them both on my mantle and match but be different? Um, oh, she, yes, at my website, it's TammyLovesVintage.com. Wait and see if you win one first. <laughs> Don't go buy it. Um, TammyLovesVintage.com. So it's the name of my page. So TammyLovesVintage.com. If you like TikTok, it's TammyLoveVintage. If you love um, YouTube, it's Tammy Love Vin Loves Vintage. It's If you look at the top of this, my page name is my name in, you know, Instagram, all the places. So anyway, oh, Naomi, <laughs> don't tell me yet. <laughs> Yes, yes, 2013. Yep, I did my very first one. I was painting a um, a brick fireplace, I believe, or tile. Maybe I was going over tile and painting. And because we have a painting business and we paint. Don't tell me your size now, you guys. Let me just tell me. Let me see who wins at the end. It'll be at the end because um, she said to wait to the end to do it. So, okay. So I found this old picture um, that I had and I thought this looks like a couple that's in love, right? Um, you know, he and her are getting their, um, their photograph taken. It's an old, old one. And I just thought that, you know, it looked like a nice picture. So I want to, now let me, so I want to do like, I want to do that. And then I found this, um, now this is just a copy of a little girl, I think it's a girl, and um, I copied the back. We did this in my group, um, but I think I think I really like like they got together and had a baby. <laughs> I like that. Um, of course, they don't know this little person, but I think that I think it's beautiful. So I was thinking something like this. So I want to jazz these up. So let's get them darn buttons back out again. Um, and I want to. I always use buttons. Buttons are like the best in my projects. Um, and I don't want the plastic ones. There we go. Here's a nice one. And I'm going to use, like this is, hang on a minute. This is the correct side sorry, of the button. Oh, that. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I felt my watch. But I'm going to use this side because see that string hanging out? I love that. So um, it just adds just a little bit more vintage look to it. So I flipped my button upside down and I'm using the back side. Now I don't always do that, but... Um, that particular one had a string hanging. Um, this one has a string hanging, and I know that they don't match. I'm going upside down with my button again. Uh, let's see, and then I'm gonna just, I think I wanna run some buttons across the bottom of this. There's like a blank space here, if you can see. And so I thought it would be fun. Um, you remember that? That's cool. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, be quiet. I'm not even touching you. So weird. Um, I probably should have started this. And those two match. I hate when they match. Darn it, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, no one will ever. What? Ugh, I hate that. I will know it. I was just going to say, no one will ever know, but I'll know. So there you go. I had to change it. All right, these, these things all have strings. I've, I've kind of pulled out all my stringy ones. Let me. Might need to refill my little jar here. Hey, Donna. Hey, Kathy. Hi, guys. 
Um, okay, let's see here. There's one that's different. So I'm just gonna go across here. I hate that they're all the same size too. I don't want them the same size. I don't want them to be matchy match. And I'm a very matchy match person, but I don't want those to match. Okay. All right, then let's go back to this bigger one. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. No, I didn't. Okay. And then it looks like I just need, a, uh, like that one's perfect. Okay. All right, that's what I had in my mind for this, is doing that. And then I have some strings here, some glue strings. So let me do this and they magically disappear. Okay, so that's done. That's a sewing string. Okay, so now we've decorated this up just a little bit. And I think I want to add, I need to get a little bit of red in here. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, you do, Claudia? That's awesome. Make copies. Don't use your originals if it's family. I don't know these folks, so it's okay. All right, now I'm going to overlap. Let's see. I need to get the front and the back. I'm never good at that. I'm going to, um, I'm going to hang this out the side because I want to angle my cut to make these, um, make the corners nice, because I don't think it's gonna go, even though, no, it's always gonna buckle. So I'm gonna be gracious there. And then let's go down here. Okay, and quickly, okay. Quickly put this down. Oops, I need to go, oops, I need to be over. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about when I say that so you'll know. Ah, my glue, oh my word, my glue got, got dry. Hang on, I'm gonna move a little faster, girl. Okay, okay, so, so what I did was I ran this out the width of this, and boy, I cut it close, and then I ran this out the width of this. So you overlap completely, and then you come in with your scissors, and you cut your corner like that. It's a sister cut, they call it. Um, again, it's a wallpapering trick. It's probably a, oh shoot, it's probably a sewing trick as well, but for me, it was a wallpapering trick. And there you go. So now my corner meets up perfectly. So I'll just put a little tack of glue. So see how much better that looks? So there you go. If you didn't learn anything else from me, you might have learned that. Okay, and then I just put a little hot glue to and kind of try to touch it together. So let's do that on all of the corners. watching my time. I know I don't have to, I don't think I really have to worry about my time. Um, I know Kim Marie said, oh, thank you, Kim. I know Kim Marie said it's okay, but I am being piped into her group, so I don't know how long the videos they allow in there. Most of you don't know me, but I could go all night. <laughs> Once I get going. I'm always nervous to get going, but once I get going, you can't stop me. All right, so then you take a piece from underneath and a piece from on top. And I'm going to glue it together. Whoops, that one's a little stringy, but it'll be fine. In the overall of the whole thing, I don't know if I'll ever notice it, but it's good. It's better than overlapping it or making it too short. So again, there's another finished corner. Okay, a little bit of glue out there. All right, there, that's better. Let me show you like that, okay? All right, so let's whack this one out wider than, wider than the corner, about the width of this, and let's run one more piece down it. Oh, I can't go too much later because my friend Julie's coming over tonight to craft. It's six o'clock. 
because I told her I'll be done with this at six o'clock. We were making little chicks. I'll show you. We made in our group last night, we made this little chick out of aluminum foil and cotton. And um, yeah, and then last year we made them out of aluminum foil and uh, ba, 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 um, paper mache. This is out of paper mache. I made um, a little baby because my daughter was pregnant. <laughs> so I made a little Millie and me. And then this year we did it with cotton and um, made little chicks. So I'm, my other one um, is at her house. She's bringing it with me because I made it at her house on Tuesday night and it was too wet to bring home. So she's going to bring it tonight and we're going to finish those out. So, okay, there's that. See, I always get off subject, off topic. <laughs> you never know where I'm going to go. Um, yeah, but they're super cute. I love like bringing back an old, hey Tina, hi. I like bringing back old um, crafting techniques like the cotton spinning um, projects. And if you guys have seen me like with our Santas, I know we did some Santas on this page, but um, we do a lot in, in our little group. So you can find out about that on the website. I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure I was allowed to talk about that actually. Oh, that's okay. I think everybody has a group, don't they? Pretty much. Okay, so this one I caught on the downside, so it's not going to line up as great. So I'll have to do a little trimming. It's the only one that, that caught in the wrong spot. Okay, so I'm going to kind of attach them. I'll stretch this one as much as I can, but at least the red is touching. So I'm just going to round out this little bit, and I think it'll be fine. There, see? It's fine. So, all right. So there's that done. And uh, I think I'll call that one done. And then I have this one that I think I'll put this around. So we're going to do the exact same thing. And I like to hide the edge in the back. I and mean, sometimes you can put the edge on the front if you want to, but I'm going to, I'm doing it on the back. So I'm going past my little picture. Okay. Making sure I'm straight here. There was no guideline really back there. So a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit off. Let me line it up a little better. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys. I know you can't see. Okay. All right, so I'm leaving that a little bit longer so that I, again, can overlap, okay? Um, so here we go again. So I'm going to the edge of my lace, flip it over, make sure I'm straight, and I am, okay? I'm gonna cut this off extra wide. This is all vintage lace. I don't keep a lot of my colored. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't keep a lot of my old colored lace um, because I don't do a whole lot with color. I'm usually very neutral, very um, woods and whites and um, earthy greens and vintage, you know, tea stain type stuff. But for Valentine, you kind of need some red, so I kept just a little bit of old lace with some red in it. And then for the Easter, you know, again, you can't have a, a beige chick, really. So, um, so we got some colored chicks and then the flowers. You know, it's spring. You want, you want a little bit of color. But for my typical decor, um, whoa, I'm way down. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's hard to tell from the back side. Um, I'm neutral, very neutral. So... Um, oh, Claudia, I don't have any left. I just had two pretty sizable sales here. I do live sales from time to time, um, and I don't have any on the website either. Um, lace has been a little harder to come by for me um, at my normal shopping places, so I haven't had what I typically have to share with you guys. I did sell a bunch of like doilies and linens and stuff, but I, the lace has been tough. You guys have bought me out so okay 
Now let's just see, that's behind there, so that should be fine. And then let me, let's see, I think I glued it down. Let's see here, let's snip that off. Okay, perfect. All right, so there's a nice corner. I see that little piece right there. Okay, perfect. And I don't think I even need to um, glue it down on this one. It's not as big and floppy. Okay, all right, come on. I glued it down. Okay, all right. Sometimes a hot glue really sticks. farther. Okay, I have one more corner here to pull off. Okay, so I'm pulling off, oh, oh shoot, I'm pulling off a little snip from the top and a little snip from the bottom, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how my colors lined up. Okay, so there you go. It just makes nice corners. Um, so there you go. Okay, so I'm thinking this here and this kind of overlapping a little bit. And then I made um, the heart that we made together. I've got three of them. So I gotta figure out where and how I wanna put them. Hmm, maybe like that, maybe like that. Ooh, I don't like them in a row like that so much. So let's raise this up here and let's put this down here. What do we think? Let me just take a peek at it here real quick. So if I raise this up to here, tip that on there. Yeah, I can dig that. All right, I'm digging it. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's get this part glued down. Okay, so I'm going to, <laughs> all right, I think I'm just going to tack this on. Um, it's, so the hot glue doesn't stick super great to the Mod Podge, but it sticks good enough. So I'm going to just do the four corners because to know, thank you, Kay, to know me, thanks, Martha and Mary, um, thanks, Gail. So to know me is, you know, I'm always changing my mind and changing things up. And like next year I'll pull this out and be like, oh, this needs whatever, and I'll change it. So um, that's why I did that. Okay, now I pulled that up a little too high. Or no, I didn't because I had this here. Ah, uh, let me reline it. I don't love it. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Hmm, that's a lot of buttons in one pile. Okay, maybe I'm gonna do that. So, all right, now this I'll tack down pretty good. I do want it on the picture though. Okay, there we go. So then I've gotta put this picture down. And I'm just going to do the four corners. I'm going to get a little zip in the middle here. Okay, she's going down. That's down. So now this is going to go down. Let's see, I'm just going to do where it's going to hit the board and the, I mean the picture and the, um, the other part. Did I hit it? No. I missed it. Okay. There. That should hit it. <laughs> that should hit it. Okay. And then, oh, this is perfect because it had a bad spot on the paper. I think I can, yeah, I think I can hit that bad spot. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So here's where we are. Let me kill the strings here. Oh, that's so, it's very um, satisfying watching the strings disappear. Okay, so there we are. So the other thing that I did without you was I glittered the edges of those little wooden hearts. 
just a little bit. You really can't see it, but it's just a little something. And I was gonna glitter the edge of this, but I'm adding um, I'm adding something to it here, so I didn't. Um, obviously, um, I could have, but I wanted I wanted to be able to sand this and not have glitter everywhere and all that stuff. So I could still go back and do it, but I'm not I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, so what am I forgetting here? Um, so when I did this one, I started with, uh, I did, um, um, rub and buff and I rub and buffed all around the outside edge of this heart. And then I went up over onto the paper. You can see maybe there, there you can see it, but it's so subtle. It didn't do much. So I ended up and added a little, um, gold glitter here and there, you see, and that was better. Um, so this one, I think I'm going to do the rub and buff again. So let's get that on here. And again, it's very subtle. And so I'm being messy and I'm going up over the edge a little bit. Now, I think this one's going to show up much. It is. This one's going to show up much better because this paper is lighter than the other paper. Um, thank you guys. Uh, this is the, um, gold leaf, gold leaf rub and buff is what I'm using today. Okay. And I really do need to get this well because I am going to add some lace to it in the back. So I won't be able to do it later. So hang with me here a minute. Oh, it's going to take me more than a minute, probably Maybe like three minutes. <laughs> I'll hurry. I'm sorry, you guys. But I do want to, I do want to do this little detail. I think it'll be um, a big impact for it as it sits on my mantle. And I also want you guys to see. So I'm over, I'm going over onto the board just a touch um, every now and again. Oh, that's a big touch, but I don't care. I love it. It's showing up on this. Look how well it's showing up. It's great. So on the other one, I just showed you, it's not showing up that much. And it's because the paper is like the same color as this gold. So that's the, that's the deal there. Now I'm not getting the edge a hundred percent, but it's there. It's hitting and missing a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate things that take me forever. <laughs> I don't like sewing to be sewing. Although I get it when we're doing some of our projects, I get the sewing is, is better than gluing and bunching, but who did I watch? Oh, um, oh, who was it? Sage did, um, bunched with glue and oh, it's so pretty. A little ruffle. I have been sewing my ruffles. She did a good job, but her lace was a lot thicker than what I usually use. It was super cute. I don't know if any of you guys caught her bunny. Um, I don't even know when it was. I, I saw a replay today. Uh, it was a craft around the clock project. Another thing I've never done. Okay. And I've never applied for it. Or I don't really know how that all works. I'm a sailor of my own ship, I guess. <laughs> And every once in a while I get lucky and someone invites me to do something. <sighs> okay, let's keep going here. So the event that we're in right now, believe it or not, I am in an event. This is the end of it. I'm the last one. Um, and it is for the Fab Five Event Emporium is the name of the group. And there were um, I don't remember now how many, but there were several thousand people in there. And, um, these groups are really fun when they do these sort of, uh, um, events because you can watch all day when you're in there, you just pull down and then you see the next person, um, instead of like me telling you who's next and you have to go type it in and chase them around. Um, it's all right there for you. So I, I like doing the events. I think they're great. Um, I'm in another one on Monday. I'm not going to talk about it here um just because you never know who's who's you know 
in competition or whatever with the other. I'm just gluing this down because it lifted. Um, I have no idea. I think everybody's friends, but you never know. So, um, but I'll be on here on my page at five o'clock on <laughs> Thanks, Linda. I'll be on uh, at five o'clock uh, on Monday here, and then it'll be shared into a different group. And I've already posted about it on my page, so if you follow me, you've probably seen it. I made, I told you to mark your calendars, join the group, and all that stuff. So, okay, whoo, that took a minute. I'm so sorry. I hate that. It's such a boring thing to watch. Um, okay, so there's that done. And then I have this, I stained this today. So it was pretty white and I wasn't crazy for how white it was, but it's old. It's got a couple, even a couple of little moldy spots on it, but I really like it. Um, and I loved it on this as the outside edge. It kind of made it look like the lid of a candy box. So I want to do that again, um, for this one. Um, especially because they're kind of going to be sitting together on my mantle, at least until I'm tired of them and ready to let them go. So let's get this down because I think that'll make a big impact as well on the finished project. Um, and then I have some add-ons if I have time. Oh, I might be, uh, I might have went too far there. Oops, am I backwards? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't think it's, I think I am upside down, but I don't think it's going to matter really. Maybe I'm not upside down. Heck, I don't know. I am or not. Okay. So let's keep it rolling here. Whoop, went off the side a little bit. I'm hugging tight to the edge. I'm hoping I cut a big enough piece. I kind of measured it out, but, you know, it was rough. If I didn't, we're, we're pulling it off. I, I will never be able to uh, match that stain. I just put a tea bag in some water and dunked this down in there, wrung it out, and took it outside to dry. And that's exactly what I did. Did I have to cut the bot? I didn't, but it's cupping up a little bit. That's all right. I didn't. So I'm not going to. All right, let's keep going. Okay. I know my shirt kind of clashes with the red, but I didn't really have a red shirt that I hadn't worn before. <laughs> I've worn this, but not, I don't think I wore it in an event. Maybe I have, I don't know. It's hard to remember what I wear. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't really match the red, but. Um, oh, Linda was talking about the velvet powder. Yeah, I, I want to try the velvet powder really bad. I think that's a very vintage thing. I don't know if it comes in neutral or, I saw her do the red today, um, Mara by, um, uh, I just said her page name. Huh? What's Mara? There. Oh, Mara's here. Yes. Mara, <laughs> put your shop in there. So these guys that are curious about your, um, hi friend, <laughs> you don't know me, but <laughs> hi Mara. I know you. <laughs> um, I, uh, I found your, I always, whenever you're messing with that velvet, I always think, man, I need to order some of that stuff and give it a try. Cause I think it's very vintage. Look, I had plenty. I think it's very vintage. Um, I think it's very cool. Okay. So we have this much done. Whoops. I lost a button. Where'd that come from? Hmm. Oh, I see. I see a hole. Found it. Okay, get in there. All right, now I have some tie-ons. I have this sweet little card of heart buttons, but you almost can't tell, and the blue's kind of off, but I thought, I, I'm not sure, it's kind of buttoned out. I might have too many buttons. Hmm. I thought about that. I've got a fold there, I mean, I'm not crazy for it. You know what? If I would have my paper punch and I could punch a cute little bottom, maybe. Uh, community, yay. Oh, okay, well, that's okay. Um, I, uh, I have to think of what it even is. It's a Valentine. Is it the, um, ha! <laughs> you had the red, I think it's pink and it has a whole, I don't even remember. Now you caught me off guard. I don't know. I can't even talk about it because I can't remember. 
So there's that. Um, I'm not going to use those buttons. I feel like I've got enough buttons. I went button crazy on this. I didn't really mean to do that, but um, I have some keyholes here that I thought might be interesting. You know, you don't know where it's going to go, and what it's going to look like or what it's going to need. Um, oh, that's Cynthia. That's so sweet. So I have like different ones. I have this little one and then I have this big white one, which is actually kind of cool because it pulls the white from the buttons. So I think I might do this white one now where, where, yeah, I kind of like it down here the best. So I have a paint, an old painted keyhole. Um, and so let's tack that on. Hot glue's probably not going to hold it super well, but we're going to, we'll see. If it pops off, I will do a different glue, but for now, for quickness. Uh, and then I have a container of keys. So we definitely need to tie a key. Like I have some old keys here to choose from. And, uh, oh, this one looks perfect, except it's silver. I kind of want gold. And boy, is it hard to get gold keys that you don't pay $20 for. Um... Kind of big. Here's, here's a little bit skinnier one. Let's go with that. A little bit skinnier one. So, and then I just recently crinkled this. Uh, was an old ribbon um, that came from that auction that I went to. I shared with you guys my haul from the auction. Uh, oh, thanks, Gail. Yeah, I could, Sharon, but I kind of, you know. You know, when I've got brass ones here. Yeah, you guys, I could. I totally could. But I've got brass, so I'm fine. Um, okay. But yeah, that's a good In a pinch, I could do like a little tiny one. So I'm going to do that. Uh, how do I want it? Hmm. i got to decide how I want it. Oh, four minutes. Um... And then I had one of these, so these are um, the optical lenses that you guys bought a ton of them. I have more on my website, but we punched out a postcard, and I punched out one that had a little bit of red writing on it. Um, this one is uh, Blue Rock, Ohio, 1909, and so I just put that in behind the optical lens, and I thought that would be a really interesting um, thing to add, I think I am, I think I'm gonna add that up here. So I'm gonna add just a snip of seam binding if I can poke it through. Now you guys, I'm getting really close to running out of time. And I think Julie just pulled in. Oh, I gotta draw a name for the, um, for the t-shirt. Hang on a minute. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave me. Let's pick a name. And then whoever's name I pick, message me, okay? Mess comment here and tell me you're here. And you don't have to tell me your shirt, shirt size. Just tell me you're here, okay? All right, so let us let me do that now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll down. I don't know where, how far um, it stopped. Debbie, Debbie Shawl, S-H-A-U-L-E. Her comment was, love the gold rub and buff. Debbie Shawl. Um, Debbie, are you here? I better write that down. Hey, Julie. So my friend Julie's here. She knows I was going live. Debbie, S-H-A-U-L-E. Okay, Debbie, are you here? <laughs> uh, oh, where's the end of the comments here? Uh, you love the shirt, thank you. Cynthia's here, Debbie. You're here. Okay, honey. Message me privately, either here on my page. You can text me. Um, if you guys want alerts when I'm going live, you can text me or I'm on Telegram. All the links are at the top. Uh, yay. So you're getting a Tammy Loves Vintage and So Do I t-shirt. But message me your size, okay? Yay, Debbie. She's here. I love that. I love that. Because you know if you're not here and you win this. Leanne, hi, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna, okay, so 
I'm just going to, I just added a little bow through the hole. Now, not all of them have a hole. A lot of them you just have to tie around the little lip. This is a number. So this is an old optical lens and the numbers are at the top. They're $3 a piece on my website. So if anybody needs any, um, you know, they're rusty crusty, they're old, but they're awesome. And it makes for a great little addition to a project like this. Um, yeah, I don't always have them, but I do right now. Um, and then I have some jewelry, a little bit of red, but I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure I need it. Uh, I'm not sure I need it, you guys. Uh, oh, that's pink. Can't have pink. And that's too, no, I'm not going to do it. And I, and I think... One more little detail. So, oh, if I can. Oh, I can't. Shoot. I wonder if I can get this. I hate those holes. I hate having empty holes. <laughs> and I have two empty holes right here. <laughs> oh, boogers. So, uh, okay, so let me think about this. Hey, Julie, come tell me what to do. <laughs> Hang on. Let me do this. Let me do this. So, hey. Hi. Oh, you heard it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, thank you. She likes it. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> Whoops, she likes it. Hey, Mikey. Uh, let me grab some more red seam binding. I'm going to try and stuff it in these holes and then I'm done. Oh, I was trying to make it match. That was the one we did before. So um, Here's your birdies. Yeah, I just showed them. Um, this, is, this is the one I painted it out. Oh, mm -hmm. looks good. You waxed it. Yeah, I did wax it. I should have waxed mine. Well, because I did the, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this in here. So, okay. Plan B. I still got to, I still have a plan. Bend a wire through. Yeah, I'm going to just watch this. Watch this little trick. So, in order to make a little bow, you make as small of a bow as you can. I'm using old seam binding. Um, you can get this. It's on my Amazon shop. Um, you can ask for a link. You can, you have to shop the colors. I just posted the, um, the cream colored one. But so I started to show you. So when you're like, how do you make your bow so little? Everybody always wants to know that. So I make a bow and then you pull each tail to pull, see that? And it gets smaller and smaller. And then you pull it again to make it tighter. And that's how you make a little tiny bow. And then I just cut the tails, boom and boom. And then I'm going to glue it over these two little keyhole, uh, little, little holes where the screws would be um, because I don't like a hole. I don't want a hole. <laughs> it's the details, Julie. It's the details. I know. <laughs> you could put a little button here too. You should, should I do a button or another bow? I got, I got, a, I got a ton of buttons on you. <laughs> Let's just look. She said I could do a button. There's a, let's see. Oh, there's a pretty one. You like that? Because another bow might be too much. Mm -hmm. Another bow. I don't know. I don't know. I like the bow and the button. <laughs> you like the bow and the button. Well, you're a lot of help. More is more. <laughs> no, I like the bow, the button. Oh, a button on top of a bow. bow. Yeah, okay, all right. She wants the bow, so let's do it. Um, thank you. You just wanted the heart button. I know I thought about that, but I don't, I don't want to ruin the card. I have a little heart button. See that card Aww, right there? It's cute. And I was going to put it on here somehow, but I didn't. Hey, will you go grab my big heart on my mantle, on the right-hand side of my mantle, mm -hmm. if you don't mind? It's buttons. It's got tons of buttons. I think these girls, the new girls, would like to see it. I did it on here, but not everybody saw it. Um, but I want you guys to see. I've packed away my button trees. They're all put away um, for Christmas and winter. Getting ready for spring around here. So, okay, I'm late. I'm, I'm going over. I sure hope that's okay, Kimberly. Um, I'm not far over. Man, you put a lot of pretty buttons. I did. I went wild with the pretty buttons. Okay. So.
So do I want to put a button on top of that? Oh yeah, I kind of like it. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do a button on top. Okay, and do I want to do a button on top down here too? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I think hot glue, especially when you're putting them on fabric, the hot glue will stick like crazy to the fabric. But if you're, and like on these wood boards, okay, so here's my heart that I made. Um, and so it sits on my mantle as well with this, but it was so plain, see? So I needed something else. So anyway, here's what we have. Oh, and I never hooked my key down. I couldn't quite figure out where to put the key. on here. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Hi, Kay. <laughs> I could go. Kay came over and had tacos last night. Oh, did she? Oh, here. How about that? Something like that. Cut this down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You like it there? Yeah, I think I do yep. too. Okay. All right. We're all done, you guys. Just that last little detail. Okay. All right. Here's our project. I went over. I would never do that if I wasn't last, you guys. And um, thank you, Kimmery and Deb and all of you girls in the group for inviting me. So it's going to sit on the mantle like this. Okay. So that's why it's crookedish, but it, it's going to sit crookedish. So this is the one I made tonight. And then this is the one that we made. Um, we made it uh, in January. We made this in January, so you can scroll back and find it. And then the same with the button heart, too. So, anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, oh, hi, Debbie. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. So, thanks for being here. It's so nice of you to stay and watch. Um, 107. I never look up at that number because <laughs> it freaks me out. So, <laughs> anyway, um, Julie and I are going, what are we going to do? Oh yeah, we're gonna, yeah. Oh, that's what I was gonna do tonight instead of this heart. Oh crap, God. Yeah, I thought we were doing them together. We were gonna have a battle you of the hearts. You I had to go at five and you couldn't come until six. No, I only came at six because you were doing this. I was doing a different one. You oh, confused crap. me. <laughs> you confused me too. Oh crap, I need to say that for Monday, for Monday night. Can we do that Monday night? Yeah. Do something else tonight? I didn't bring we'll anything else. <laughs> If not, I'll have, oh, I know. So we can, we'll do, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this together. And then on Monday, I'll do those little people, the little Valentine people. Cause one of my followers wanted to see how I would do them. The little pipe cleaner. I got you people. I got you girls. So I will see you later. Thanks for following. Thank you for the hearts. I give you hearts back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.